everyone. Welcome to the next session of Alpha e-learning to make learning simple and more interesting. Today we shall discuss about magnetic effect of electric current. Hans Christian Oyster, a Danish physicist who lived between 1777 to 1851, was one of the most leading scientists of the 19th century who played a vital role in introducing the concept of electromagnetism. On April 21st, 1820, he performed an experiment to demonstrate the relation between electricity and magnetism. Earlier, before his discovery, it was believed that electricity and magnetism were two different unconnected sciences and it was he who proved that there exists some relation between electricity and magnetism and they were interconnected which gave rise to electromagnetism. Through his experiment he proved that when current is passed through a conductor a magnetic field is created around the conductor. So today let's see the experimental procedure, observation and results of Oyster's experiment. Arrange the magnetic needle on a vertical pivot such that it's free to rotate in the horizontal plane. And if there is no external source of magnetism, then the magnetic needle will align itself in the north-south direction. Place the conductor AB conducting wire AB, this is point A and this is point B, just above the magnetic needle, parallel to the axis of the needle, so that the wire is also along north-south direction. Connect the conducting wire to the battery and plug key in series. If there is no flow of current, then the magnetic needle will not show any deflection. Now we'll ins insert the plug key and start the flow of current. Now here the red color wire is connected to the positive terminal and blue color wire is connected to the negative terminal. This becomes point A and this becomes point B. So the current flows from the south pole of the magnet to the north pole of the magnet. The north pole of the magnet is shown by red color shaded part. So as I switch on, just check the deflection. Here it's very clear, the north pole of the magnet gets deflected towards the west. If I switch off the current, that is unplug the key, the flow of current stops and the magnetic needle returns to its original position and aligns itself in the north-south direction. I shall interchange the terminals so that the direction of the current is reversed. So the terminals are interchanged, so the current flows from the north pole of the magnet to the south pole of the magnet and we shall see the deflection of the magnetic needle. So in this case, the north pole of the magnetic needle gets deflected towards the east. Unplug the key and stop the flow of current so that the magnetic needle returns to its original position and aligns itself in the north-south direction. If the distance between the magnetic needle and the conductor is kept constant and the current is increased, then the angle of deflection of the needle increases. So we may check, this is with less current, the north pole gets deflected towards the west. So if I increase the current, you may check the deflection. If 
in this case the angle of deflection of the magnetic needle is more when i switch off the current the needle comes back to its original position and rests in north south direction now in case the current is kept constant and the distance between the needle and the conductor is increased the angle of deflection decreases so you may check with this distance this is the deflection angle of deflection of the magnetic needle i'll switch off the current so that it comes back to its original position and aligns in north south direction now if i increase the distance you may check the deflection the angle of deflection of the magnetic needle in this case it is less compared to the previous one so i shall switch off so that magnetic needle comes to rest in north south direction coming to the experimental results as there was no external source of magnetism oyster's experiment clearly indicates that when a current is passed through a conductor a magnetic field is created around it and if the flow of current stops then the magnetic field ceases the magnetic needle gets deflected as it lies within the magnetic field created by the current around the conductor the direction of deflection of the needle is given by snow rule the snow rule indicates that when the wire is placed above the magnetic needle and current flows from south pole to the north pole of the magnet then the north pole of the needle gets deflected towards the west and if the flow of current is reversed then the north pole of the magnetic needle gets deflected towards the east the strength of the magnetic field depends on two factors the first one the strength of the magnetic field at a point due to current is directly proportional to the strength of the current and the strength of the magnetic field at a point due to current is inversely proportional to the distance of that point from the conductor to wind up i shall show you something interesting now if the current flows from east to west then there will be no deflection you may just check here the flow of current is from east to west and hence there is no deflection in the magnetic needle now in case if i place the conducting wire below the magnetic needle then you may check the deflection the north pole of the magnetic needle gets deflected towards the east so you may find out the reason and in case you don't get you may please google it out this is the current is flowing from south pole of the magnet to north pole of the magnet but the conducting wire is placed below the magnetic needle so if i switch off it returns to its original position and aligns itself in north south direction i shall show it once again here the current is flowing from the south pole of the magnet to north pole of the magnet but the conducting wire is placed below the magnetic needle so the north pole of the magnetic needle gets deflected towards the east we shall rejoin in the next session with much more interesting facts and contents do rejoin us in the next session thank you very much keep watching